Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, we're just heading into the main cow building at the minute because we've got some lads here that are um, sorting out one of the feed troughs. So they've come to they've come to resin the feed trough basically, but I'm going to get him to explain it all because obviously he'll know better. Um, but one of the feed troughs, um, it's concrete on the bottom and it's pitted, it's rough, it's it's hard to clean. Um, so they're just, I think they're taking the top layer off it off now to make it nice and smooth. And then they'll be coming tomorrow to um, put some resin on. So we're going to have a look what they're doing. And then, like I say, I'm going to ask him to explain what he's doing because he knows way better than I do. Morning, girls. Not seeing you a lot this morning. It's my weekend off this weekend, so I haven't milked. So this is the feed trough. We'll look here. Let me get under. And this is the surface of it now. So we've cleaned it, power washed it and what have you. But it's very rough, like the concrete is rough, it's pitted. It's hard to keep clean basically. Please don't like me. I'm in clean clothes. And then we're gonna have a look what this lad's doing. anyway that's just a given it's like you eating off a dirty dinner plate it's not ideal um, but and then when they lay the resin down it should encourage the cows to eat more food because it is it's a clean surface at all times like when we sweep it out in the morning every morning that'll get squeegeed out anyway not that there's a lot left over but it's you don't want to leave any old bits of silo in there because it'll soon go smelly um so yeah it should essentially encourage your cow to eat more silo when it's eating off a clean surface so that's what we're doing there get them to eat more then they'll give more milk so fast forward to a place now um monday morning so they started doing the trough on the saturday and this is the first time i've seen it obviously he's got to let it dry so we've not let any cows in um yesterday on the sunday but rich is just about to come feed and hell looks fancy pants Ooh, that is really smooth that'd be so easy to clean that looks so good i can't believe how good that looks i don't know what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting it to look that good yeah really nice and smooth lovely job i haven't got my light with me or anything and i look like i've been dragged through a hedge backwards but we move um so yeah got up this morning at uh half three so we were here milking at four because in the parlor we're having um the parlor moved because so i'll tell you from the start the cat when the cows are coming into the parlor um and they're all lined up and we're milking them and what have you we've got a lot of them either going down or getting the feet stuck in the troughs and it's been going on for a bit now and i've i was speaking to dad about it a bit ago and i was like i don't know what is going on it, it 
didn't happen all of a sudden i don't want to say but it's not always happened but i think it's because the cows are just getting bigger um they've just not got the room in there and when they're coming in all bagged up they're, they're that tightly packed in that if something just loses a little bit of balance then it's gone basically or it's more like your big cows pushing on your heifers because your big cows are wanting that little bit more room and they're just pushing on the heifers um so we've had the uh parlor people in closes they've been in and they've done one side already and they're coming in this morning to do the other side so they're basically just taking two inches out of the framework in the parlor and moving it all in so that the cow has got that little bit extra room to like push its bum out anyway um so yeah that was done and you can tell the difference obviously straight away and you can it's a it's a massive difference so it's a good job that we have done it um so yeah they're, here, they're coming to do that the other side this morning but the trough looks mega so and rich is just on his way down now to feed so we'll quite a few weeks maybe even months you know no it's not a few months a good few weeks anyway maybe two, maybe a month or two uh, anyway and I had a load of footage it got deleted back to that whole scenario so yes we've had the trough done um, it's great it's clean the cows are cleaning it up it's nice all the rest of it the pile has been done yes I can see a huge difference we're not getting cows stuck at all um, nothing's going down it's made such a massive difference I'll show you a little bit but you really can't see a lot at all like oh, see there's so much going on in this parlour it's not that obvious to see but if you look up here this bit so he's basically grinded this bit off shunted it all in and then welded it back together it's just again two inches either side and he's done it on both sides um, so that the runk rail is this bit the runk rail is further into the pit um to give the cow that extra room out there so it stands up so that's great and then with the troughs so this this blackboard at the back that's actually for their id so that's for the um ear tags when they put the heads in the trough that bit reads their id and then it drops the feed the front bit the front bit of stock board we put them on so that they can't get the feet in between the bars because they were getting the feet in between the bars and really struggling and then going down and it was just a whole big palaver so we moved the runk rails in and then we put the stock board on as an extra precaution as well so yeah it's all working really well not having many cows well not had any cows go down touch wood um so yeah it's made a massive difference which is great just what we wanted don't get me wrong it's not exactly what i wanted i would have liked a new parlor well we all would um but that's not happening yet we need to make a few more youtube videos a bit more money and <laughs> maybe one day we'll get a parlor so go vlog it no you film it oh bella's in there bella <laughs> what? Okay. 
Oh, have they drunk the milk or what? They dragged it away. They just catch it in buckets so it will push that to you. Oh, oh poor nice. calves. Do you need to clean the gutters out? Yeah, yeah, it is coming out of the gutter, but it must be, it must be our fog room off. Well, there's a lot of water as well, isn't there? Oh, heck! So today we're doing a day in the life of Ben. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> Hen's water. stuff and then if it does happen again today because it is given rain more or less all day today so better get it cleaned out aren't we To shift that biscuit meal, shift that power before the bucket gets dirty. Um, send it somewhere for the blend. Tech uh, track trap.
so high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through What we're doing is um, he was moving some blend in, no he wasn't, he was moving some biscuit meal into the straight shed, it's full, can't fit any more in there, so he's just shoved it up against some crushed uh, barley for now. Uh, we've got a load of, yeah we've got a load of blend coming this afternoon, so he's just making a bit of space in there, had to do all of that quickly because then we didn't want to get the uh, bucket dirty because now he is loading them up, ready to take that and tip it at Phillips because we are bunged out with muck at, at the farm. Um, we have a lot of box muck all through the year because everything's bedded on straw so it doesn't all go down the slats. We scrape it over the slats, the slurry goes down and the box muck gets scraped round to the mid-in. So we have always got a lot of box muck um, but we just tip it on land and then when it's time and ready uh, we just spread, spread the muck on the land. So yeah, we're heading down to Phillips now as soon as he finishes filling this load, tipping it there. Um, he'll have a good few loads to do, maybe four or five. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we'll get rid of it all. I think I'm a radio do guy, you know, you know. Oh, really? Uh, bird and cave. That is funny, isn't it? Yeah. Phillips um, where we're tipping the muck and we've got a bit of barley here so we just thought we'd come and have a look see what the crack is. Uh, Ben's reckoning we normally will combine barley a little bit sooner than the wheat and last year I remember because I vlogged it we did the wheat around like the 13th 14th of July so another month or so well if we're going a week before yes yeah, three weeks hopefully doing a bit of combining all obviously weather dependent so Hopefully we get some decent weather because I'm not even kidding you. This is fortnight before. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be well it all depends on the weather again though, doesn't it? Yeah. It's out now and so it's coming a bit yellow, isn't it? Yeah. You want these to be a little bit cheesy or just hard? Uh, no, they want to be cheesy, but not uh, no water or moisture in them. Right. For crimping. Yeah. 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 So you crimp all the barley? Yeah, we did last year. Right. Crimped all the barley and and the wheat. Most of the wheat and just did a bit of wheat full term. Just when the plant got full, but we've got we've got 20 acre less this year, so I think it'll all go it'll into crimp. Fit. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good, don't it? Yeah. Right, we're back to the farm now for another load. Like I say, Ben will be probably doing a four or five load, I reckon. Um, I haven't. Oh, oh, there's a cow coming out. One sec. Close one. Jacob and Alex are on the <laughs> foot patrol. What are you doing? Put her away. I just thought she, she didn't. I saw you legging it with a broom. 
what was I saying? Yeah, so Ben's doing that. Um, I haven't got time to stand there and vlog him the whole time. So hopefully I've got enough content of that. I'm gonna go and do a bit of like painting and stuff. Um, just staying in wood um, up in my stables. What else have I got to do? I've got a few things I need to do on the computer and edit and upload this vlog because this will be going live tonight. Um, so yeah. Anyway, it wasn't a full day in the life of Ben. Maybe I will do that one day. I think that would actually be quite good. Oh, sorry, Wags. You want to say hi? Oh, I'm rough. Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Wags, come here. Bella. <laughs> He's rather a rum sketch. And Bessie too. Talk to everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this vlog here now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.